In this video, we're gonna play GoldenEye in both 4-3 aspect ratio and also 16-9 widescreen. This is a emulation on the NVIDIA Shield, the cheaper one of the two, the 2019 model. And it's just a preview video. I'm gonna do a whole video on emulating on the Shield TV. But as you see, it's running really well. Um, there it is in 4.3, and here it is now in widescreen. It looks kind of weird at first, but pretty darn cool. So in this video, it's just a quick preview video of what re RetroArch emulator you want to install. Um, just put load up the ROM, and you can be rocking it and rolling. So again, this is with the NVIDIA Shield. Very, very fast. You're not going to have the same results on something smaller like a Raspberry Pi, but let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, so I am here in RetroArch on my NVIDIA Shield. And what I want to do is go ahead and online updater, core updater, and I just went ahead and installed the N64 emulator. It's a specific one over here. There's a few of them. Go over to Nintendo. It's, it should be the second one. MuPen64 plus Next. Not this one, not the first one, not the GLES3. This one right here. So I already have the latest version installed, but that's how you would then install it. You can always update your installed course too. Maybe you had it already installed and you just need to update it. And next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna load my Nintendo 64 game. Now mine are in my micro SD card over here in Nintendo 64. And I have a bunch of Nintendo 64 games. So let's go ahead and launch GoldenEye. And I have all three cores installed, but remember we want the MuPin 64 plus next, not the G. L E S, which is the one up top. So it's that middle one for me. All right. So I believe, let me go ahead and check my resolution here. So if I go to options, I have it right now in four, three mode at 3,520 by 2640, which is 4k for the four, three, As you can see, not a lot of jagged edges here. Nice and smooth. And now we can... When I don't get the crown. As you can see, even here, it's playing pretty good. And this is often where it lags. All right, so for um, widescreen, 3840 by 2160 is HD. And then we're going to go ahead and switch it to 16 by 9. Now, you'll notice that these changes will not take effect immediately. I don't even think you can restart. Let's see, reset. I think you got to actually close the content. Yeah, see, we're still on 3-4. So let's go ahead and close the content. And I believe what this will do now is you actually have to restart the emulator core on default settings. Now it should be widescreen. There you go. So some of the video settings you'll have to change out some of the text can't be applied. So some people might not like this. If you have a big screen TV, why not fill up the whole screen? It gets a little bit of, you know, you need to get used to it. Pretty 
cool, right? Hey, bro. Got three bullets with your name on it. So there you have it and you can go ahead and play with this and go ahead and go down to like 1080p you can go down to 720 and then lower but the nvidia shield is going to play this no problem for most games some games you might want to lower it but there you go pretty cool stuff so as you saw really cool here's another game cruising usa typically laggy on the raspberry pi but running really good here and as you see when it's 4 3 4k aspect ratio with the 4k it's looking really sweet and like i said earlier you can easily downgrade this to 1080 or even 720 and it looks amazing the nvidia shield continues to be one of the best streaming boxes out there and this is one of the reasons is you can install some really cool emulator cores and do some really great emulation with it everything from dreamcast and Sega 4 and sega saturn uh, i will be doing another video more in depth about how to set up your uh, NVIDIA Shield, as well as some more performance, especially with PSP and Dreamcast, so stay tuned for that. Lastly, here's a little cheat sheet for you if you're wondering about 480 versus 720 versus 1080 versus 4K at the two different aspect ratios. So on the right side, you have a 4.3, and then on the left side, you have a 16.9. So those are the ratios you're going to want to use when you're messing around with these emulator cores. So I hope you had a good time. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and stay tuned for more of these.